one o'clock in the afternoon. I was up until um, I was up until four o'clock in the morning. See, I haven't even made my bed. <laughs> um, cleaning and some cupboards out, and um, cleaning out the fridge and. Anyway, so I slept in until noon, and then I decided I should come on here and do a little videotaping. Oh, look at me. I haven't even combed my hair yet. So, I wonder what kind of day I'm going to have the rest of the day. I don't know. I won't be doing any crafts until later on, so... Let's go see what we can have. Oh, I'm just heating up my tea. So it went cold. Think I'll spill it? Probably. Okay, it's never wasted. Mom's doing some knitting. What's that? You're knitting today. Yeah. Watching the news. I bought this bed for the dog, and the cat sleeps in it. Because my dog doesn't like it. He likes to lay flat. All right, puppy. Oh, sorry. We have our downs, lots of craziness. So I'm just having a cup of tea. Oops, my my phone is going crazy here. So I'm having a cup of tea. Just finishing off this video for tonight. I am doing a few little things. I'm testing out my new little stamps that I got. I'm really pleased with those. Um, the ones that I want to test out here are these these little borders. Aren't they adorable? I just love these. I love the reindeer on the bottom. So um, I'm going to uh, get back into a little bit of card making. Ooh, hot, hot. Mm. That was hot. I was trying to come up with, I'm going to have to look. I'm going to, uh, I was trying to come up with little covers for the, this to-do list. And I'm trying to come up with a way of closing it. The last time I did this, um, what I did was I put a little piece of paper here, piece, so that it just sort of tucked in and tucked, you know, tuck in, tuck out. So I could do that maybe with like a belly band or something. That would be the other option. So anyway, I'm looking at a couple of things that I wanted to do with that tonight. So that's what I'm up to. And I'm going through my my little DIY ideas and stuff. I also have another book. This one that I had last year. This big one here. And this is the one that I used to keep track of my 
Remember I had my elder care series that I did. So I've got that. Uh, my Wacky Wednesdays where I was doing shutouts every Wednesday. Um, then I've got my organizing section. Um, and then I've got vlogs and hauls. So I've got that. And then DIYs. So I thought maybe I'd flip through this and see... Um, you know, what kind of ideas I could come up with. And, uh, you know, there's some things like the Christmas key using, because um, I have some larger keys and putting it and making um, a little tag, perhaps, you know, a little tag with um, Santa's magic key. And, uh, you know, put some phrase or something with the little keys on it. That would be a really great craft uh, fair idea. What was the other reading? Made tag, embellish already made tags, tea light candles, which I've done here. I've made those. Um, gift card holders. I also made that money, um, sort of the money card holder. I did that and my mini cups I'm just looking through some of my notes to see um, you know see what I'm coming up with here um, I had some ideas for blogs too I was thinking of doing like um, I sort of started a little bit with mum uh, doing a story time with mom and I thought maybe I would do story time um, and just talk about personal experiences and how um, I've grown from them learned from them um, you know that kind of stuff I thought those would be really great vlogs to do um, talk about bucket lists, you know, uh, what are our bucket lists for, you know, for different times of the year or for life, you know, life bucket lists. Um, what else have we got here? This is just a little, a fitness one with, forget that, I never get into fitness. <coughs> I did when I was younger, but you know, I'm an old lady now, and uh, I just, whatever. So some other um, storyline ideas for vlogs was also the lost art of grandmothers. You know, um, things that grandmothers used to do that we don't do anymore and what we do now that is becoming a new tradition or a new art form that was something I talked about you know I was going to talk about what else was I going to talk about these are just my different ideas you know I kind of write things down when I come up with something um you know one of the other things that, you know, when I was thinking of, you know, the lost art of grandmothers, um, kind of comparing that, I really like the idea of comparing what's considered to be the lost art of grandmothers and the new grandmothers. So things that my grandmother would have done is not the same as today's grandmother. I think today's grandmother's more hip, more... Uh, with it more informed, more um, educated, uh, worldly, and all of those other things. But there are still some fun things that's missing, and I'd really like to do a video on that one day and talk about all the, the things, you know, and maybe get some examples. That would be really great. If you could leave a comment below on some of the things that your grandparents taught you or not your parents but your grandparents uh, what they used to do what was their tradition of being a grandparent um, it's it's different today 
it's totally different. So it would be really great if you could share some of your stories. I'd really appreciate that. That would be great. Um, I could incorporate that into my video. Um, I just think it would be fun to, you know, do some compares, you know, what, what today's grandmothers um, are expected to be like as compared to when we were growing up and our grandparents. Anyway, I thought that would be interesting. So I thought I'd share that with you tonight. While I'm having my tea, is it's getting cold now because I'm chatting so much. What? What? My puppy gets right under my feet. Right under my feet. It's funny how he likes to always be close to me. He likes to be touching me somewhere. My foot, my, you know, if I'm sitting on the couch, he wants to be right beside me. Anyway, that's uh, some of the stuff. I was thinking of getting back into Wacky Wednesday and sharing some of the uh, new YouTubers that I am watching. And uh, that, might, that might be a fun thing to try again. So maybe that's, so I'm just kind of throwing these ideas out. And I'm going to tear this page out and see. So what do you guys think? Do you think that a, a shout out Wednesday? Again, like I called it Wacky Wednesday, Wacky Wednesday shout outs. That could be a weekly thing. The only thing is, is they turned into just, you know, it wasn't me chatting about them. And I think it'd be more fun if we chatted about them rather than do what I did. Um, I began to at the beginning and then after I just wanted to do shout outs and, you know, so maybe what I will do is maybe a review, review new, not new YouTubers. But new to me like what because my interests aren't the same as everybody else's so that might be really interesting anyway guys I am going to go to bed it's late I planned on going to bed at 11 o'clock it's one o'clock in the morning again as usual thanks for joining me um, my day was okay I had a bit of something going on earlier and really f frustrated me and got me angry and then after um i said a few prayers and asked god to sort of take this whatever it was off of my shoulders and leave it behind and it has nothing to do with my mom <laughs> just thought i'd let you know um but anyway, let's get on with it. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.